with Annika about this incredible treadmill. Now, Annika, I'll be really honest with you. I was kind of looking at it and I thought, man, it is thin, it is small. I don't think this is gonna be a very good workout. And then I cranked it up 3.7 miles per hour. That's a jog on something that can fit literally under the couch, right? Yeah, just keep going. Go on, Suze. I'm not baby. I'm, I'm just taking a time out. My makeup already fell off over there after the mic. I'm exhausted. But this is incredible. Another epic, epic item from FitQuest. This is an ultra thin walking treadmill. It's so thin, it stores under the bed, under the couch. You can roll it, put it against the wall and put it out of the way when you're done. Look how thin that is. That's a lot thinner than my waistline right now. When I'm done, I just leave it and then get on with my day. It's not gonna become a piece of furniture that you just toss your clothes. Yeah, you're hanging clothes on it. Right? Yep. Giant bulky treadmill, so it's brilliant for small spaces. You don't even have to have the bar up, Suzanne. I'm just gonna show you something. You simply step on a little peg, fold it down, and now I can use the treadmill underneath my desk. Huh. So what I like to do is set it up, check my emails. By the time you've done, you've done about a mile. That's which is great. really, really epic, right? But yeah. let's, let's show this. So you simply step, lift up the stabilizer bar. So you can use it with or without the bar. You have a remote control somewhere to place it here, and you simply press it on, I stand on the two side rails. It gives me a countdown. Three, two, one, and I simply start walking. So if I'm just starting out, I start super slow. Just nice to kind of get my stride, feel comfortable. It goes up, it's in miles per hour. So you can see that I'm just doing, let's have a look. Let's do one point three. Can you flip, yeah, can you come around? Yeah. Because first off, the screen is really easy to read. It's fantastic. You don't need, glasses. don't need glasses. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you've, you've got a panel here. Distance, speed, and calories. So come on, I'm, I'm like boasting about my fitness prowess. I gotta up my game here. <laughs> so I've got a stabilizer bar on here you're seeing my distance, speed, or calories. So I can either say, right, I'm gonna do one mile. I'm gonna burn 100 calories. It allows you to pick your motivation goals. Now, if you move up for me, so I've got the bar. I can hold on to keep myself safe and stable, or I can use my arms free. I saw a dude walking around my neighborhood yesterday, and he's literally doing this. He has a nice little mustache. And I was like, oh, God bless you. Go on, son, I'll go a little faster. On the top here, a bit strange. On the top here, you've got a safety clip, really important when you come to treadmills. So simply take it, attach it. If you have any kind of issues, this will stop and immediately cut the machine off. So that's a massive safety thing. So let's get started. And also started. if you have kids hanging around the house and you don't want them playing on it or goofing with it, you can hide this and they can't turn that's it on without really having that connected. Point. Yeah. Excellent. Also the other cool thing too is this is a little remote which controls everything down there. I love it, it's magnetic. So you can't lose the remote. It literally clips onto this little section right beside the safety. And so it's right there and it's really easy to use. Now, you also at home I'm sure are going, oh, does that really move? All right, here we go. Come on, go. Because I want was the doubtful Debbie. <laughs> so right now I'm just using the plus button and I'm watching it, I'm up to 2.8, now I'm at three. Three, four, three, five, three, six, three, seven. Okay, I can actually move into a soft jog at this point. So if you were looking at this and thinking, oh my goodness, there's no way it's so th thin and small and really portable, but you're not gonna get moving on it. Yep, you can see right now, I am working hard. Seriously, I'm gonna <laughs> join you, right? Because I'm competitive, I'm, I'm a Viking man, I gotta do it as well. So I'm holding on to the I'm bar. I'm holding on to. Because my legs are moving a bit quicker than the caffeine is allowing them to. <laughs> but I can really get my lower body going. I can tone and tighten my leg muscles, my glute, my core is engaged, keeping me stable. Now I can add my arms. I'm not gonna start marching like that dude in my neighborhood. I can simply place my hands and kind of get my heart rate up. You can do high intensity interval training or you can get your Echelon app and now start walking on the banks of the Seine. I can walk down the California coastline 
There are scenic walks. There are workout walks. So check the app out. For me, it's absolutely epic. Now I'm getting, all right, I've burned five calories. That's one mouth of a bagel or a slice of toast. Mm, right. But I've done, this is in miles. So I've done 0 0.06 so far in distance. Now you can see, this is it at its top speed. It's walking at a clip. You can hear that I'm getting out of breath. I'm working aerobically which means my heart and my lungs are working, which is what we want for health. Now, I'm gonna just slow it down a little bit. I'll lower my heart rate a little, kind of come into a bit of a softer walk. I'm doing a really quite a long stride here. Yeah. So it's working range of motion, joint mobility, working my knees, my ankles. If you're coming off an injury and just starting to get back into your workout, you can start really slowly. So I'm just taking the speed down. You can hear also, it's not a loud unit, Suzanne, again. So you can use it if you've got a baby sleeping. If somebody's in the room next door sleeping or working, got somebody studying, you're not going to upset them. So you can see as we take it slower, oh, catch your breath. You've got side rails if you want to step off and just relax and take a load off, that's what you can do. Or just get going again, right? So I can, instead of just sitting down, I can be watching the TV. I can watch the app on the TV. I can simply just work out, just walking again, five minutes quick. Okay, I'm done, gotta get going. You can take your clip off, press on off. You simply place it all back. And the best thing about it, again, is how simple it is to store. Oh so. my gosh, that is the best. And here's the thing, I mean, a lot of us, you know, you really do, and you're so smart, you realize just the benefits of being able to get out and walk. And you're like, well, the weather's rainy, or it's too hot, or it's too freezing cold, there's too much snow. We don't wanna go outside to do it. And what do we do? We avoid it. Well, then we think, what's the alternative? Let me get a treadmill. Well, when you're talking about treadmills, especially with, uh, you know, normal treadmills, they're big, they're bulky, they take up a ton of space. And ultimately, you're like, oh my gosh, this is obnoxious. I don't want to take up that much space. Well, if you'll see it, I'm going to go back here because I love where you put this one. This full-size treadmill is literally sitting against this, against this wall. It looks almost like the size of a mirror. Like you, you put a mirror on the wall. Yep. Look how small and thin this is. And yet this has a 264 pound weight capacity. So if that's something you should be doing more of, which we all should is walk, even get up to that slight jog, or you're saying, hey, you know what? I haven't worked out in a really long time but I'm comfortable just moving a little bit. This is your unit. But the fact it goes to 3.7 miles per hour, that's what shocked me. I looked at, I really did, I looked at it and I thought, well, I know FitQuest makes really good product. I do know that because the bike's beautiful and I've, I've been on the bike a long time. But I'm thinking, oh, really? They're gonna take on a treadmill and make it really good? And I'm telling you, they did. If you can walk 3.7 miles per hour, you are really booking it. And that's when you start to see the pounds melt off. You start sleeping better. You start feeling great. That blouse doesn't bulge as much as it used to. That belt's a little, uh, a little looser every time you put it on. You got to cinch it up a couple more holes. That's the kind of achievement that we want in working out. And what a brilliant way to do it. I started off the show too saying, if you can do it with our flex pay and all the free shipping, think about getting both the bike and the treadmill. And you're like, why? Because you're going to get a mini gym. And variety is the spice of life. You don't necessarily want a bike every day. Maybe you want to do some walking. Maybe you're supposed to do both. Maybe you want to alternate, but it gives you the variety you need and you're creating your own mini gym in the teeniest little real estate space in your home. You don't need a big giant room. Right. I love this. Look at the front, but look at the side. You can stand in front of this unit when it's standing upright and it, you, you are bigger than the unit. It is a <laughs> sliver and yet it has a 264 pound weight capacity. Why do I bring that 
that up because it's a really good, well-built unit. Right. It's not just, you know, 175 pounds can use it. It's almost three. It's not quite 300, but it's close to 300 pounds in this small, convenient unit. But to your point, everything that amazes me about this is the stride length as well. Yes. You do get a really nice stride. I've been on these kind of rickety units that are really small and you feel not in balance and it's, you almost have to take little baby steps. This one, you do get that stride length that we're, we're working for when we're doing a walking or semi running workout. So you do get that with the unit. I like, I like the handle. I think this is fantastic to have it just for that balance. So I love that for my clients, right? My mom, again, my mom is like my crash test dummy. I make her try everything. <laughs> if she can use it, anybody can use it. All right. So, but I actually like it with the handle down because I tend to spend my mornings behind my desk. Now, you check your emails, right? And all you get rid of all the junk that we all get now. That's like 30 minutes, Suze. So instead, I can be 30 minutes. Now again, you can see I'm just going at a nice slow pace, but this is enough to get me moving. I had a Zoom call last week. It lasted an hour and a half. I actually ended up doing like a mile and a half. And I well, said, you know, no, it's about five miles actually. Um, yeah, an hour and a half. Right. And see, yeah, hour and a half. I mean, I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to look highly focused on the call <laughs> and not move and be huffing and puffing like a weirdo. But again, the versatility that I can use it as part of my morning routine. I'm huge on starting your morning with a little movement. Don't think your brain takes a little bit of time to wake up. Mine takes loads of time to wake up these days. I need at least two cups of coffee. But instead, now, instead of reaching for that coffee when you're tired, maybe in the middle of the day, maybe first thing in the morning, if you can get on your treadmill, get your body moving, you're getting those endorphins flowing, you're getting the blood flowing, you're breathing. There's nothing better than breath work. You can do your Wim Hof breath work. <laughs> Right? Start to motivate yourself and start to get your body shifting. Sit down. Instead of sitting down, get up off your chair and get your legs moving. I'm going to just shut it off. It slowly, slowly starts to let me cool down and it stops. I step off. I want to use a stabilizer bar now because I want to work a little harder. It's as easy as stepping on the lever. I've got side rails here, safety side rails. I've got a super non-slip tread here. It feels so comfy. It feels like you're walking through a forest. I find it really, really um, low impact on the ankles, on the knees, on the hips. Again, I choose the speed that works for me. You attach your little clip. You simply turn it on and then you work up to the speed that works for you. We have to enjoy what we do in Sue's. Sure. Otherwise we won't enjoy, we won't keep doing it, right? Well, and the benefits of just walking are tremendous. Yeah. It is really amazing. My uh, father-in-law, he lived to a ripe old age and that guy walked every single day, every day. Yeah. And he was in the most amazing shape. Yeah. Yeah. Even in, in he, he probably passed away in his 90s. Wow. That man was in phenomenal shape. Very little body fat, but he walked every single day. Wow. Every, he never missed it. And that really is made a huge difference in his life, right? He was in phenomenal shape up until the very end. He basically died of old age. Uh -huh. I mean, that's what he died of. It wasn't some horrible disease. It wasn't, you know, he died of old age because the guy was in his 90s. But I always admired Ed so much because he was just in impeccable shape. And you know what he did? He walked every day. He wasn't going to the gym. He wouldn't do that. He was very frugal. <laughs> uh, he wasn't doing some crazy workout at home. He would get up every day and he would walk. All the neighbors knew him. The whole night because it was his routine, literally his entire life, just walking. You never saw him run and jog. He did not jog. He didn't have to run, and he was in impeccable shape. I've never seen an older person like him in great shape, without having to do anything extreme. And that's what's so good about this because you don't have to do something elaborate or crazy. You just have to move your body. Yes. You'll get incredible cardio. Hey, if you get to the point where you want to add hand weights to it, you certainly can right. while you're walking. That's awesome. But you get the support, you get the balance, and you get the quality that only FitQuest can offer you. Now, here's what we're doing tonight. It's really important. I haven't pointed it out. The normal price here in HSN is $700. This is beautifully designed. It's very high quality. 
But when you go to these kind of compact designs, uh, they're like buying a really expensive sports car, you know? You're going to spend a little more because they spend a lot of money putting in the same technology we get in really big treadmills, but condensing it all. Now, what are we doing tonight? We're 50% off the HSN price. It's not just $10. We're half off the HSN price right now. And on top of that, you'll see we have three flex pays, which means with a major credit card, you can spread your payments out over three months. And because it's over $75, you get free shipping. And you're saving a lot with the shipping. It's actually over $43 for us to ship it to you. Now, another question people have is, is there any assembly? So it's so super simple. It's literally gonna come in the box and you simply press the lever, lift up the bar and get going. And plug it in. Unplug your, you know, unpack your plug, plug it in and off you go. You've got your little remote wrapped up, your little safety switch and that's it, Suzanne. That's great. So you can get started straight away. You know, you talked about walking. You can read online the benefits of walking, the benefits mm -hmm. of cardiovascular exercise. We want to live longer. We want to live healthier. Not all of us can run. I hate running. I've got body parts that really reject running. My mind rejects running, right? But I'm an expert walker. I can walk up to 18,000 feet. Can't breathe, but I can walk up to 18,000 feet. Anybody can walk. If you've got two things hanging off your torso, and I'm talking about legs, get them moving. It's as simple as putting one foot in front of the other. And I, if you are sitting at home and watching and saying, you know, I've let myself go. So this is life. Quite often we put other things, we put everything before our own health and our wellness, right? Your kids, your work, even my dogs, you know, take up so much more time. But it's time, it's a new year. Start. This is a way that you can get started. It's an ultra lightweight, ultra thin treadmill that will fit in your home. You can use it, you can get on, and you can do five minutes a day. That's what I want for you. I want health and I want wellness, and I want you to feel good because, again, Suze, we usually put ourselves last, many, right. many people, yep. right? There's so many demands on time. But when you start, this is gonna have benefits for the rest of your life. Again, you've got a display that's dead easy. You can set your goals. Distance, speed, and calories. Super nice, bright display there. You can see I've got a non-slip tread pad that feels like you're walking in a forest. I've got safety side rails. Oh, I'm tired, I wanna take a break. I simply step on and I can turn it off with my remote control. It's gonna cycle down slowly, cycle down slowly. I just take my clip off, attach it, put my remote back on here. Whew, I'm done. I press the lever, I fold it down and immediately pick it up and store it, right? It's really making it really, really simple. And Anika, do me a favor, can you go back and get that one again? Oh, because I think this is, there's a lot of reasons why <laughs> we don't buy a treadmill, because they're big, they're heavy, they're bulky, and you cannot put them away. Even collapsible treadmills in the past have been really quite large to leave out in your living room. She had that tucked against the wall. You barely even knew it was back there. And look how convenient this is. So you've got wheels, right? So it means you can roll it around anywhere. Now on carpet, you get a little resistance but look, it goes back and forth. If you have a bed, it's only, or a couch, it's five inches tall. I've got heels bigger than that. I fall off them, and now I can't be bothered to wear them. I wonder why I even bother with that rubbish. I prefer sneakers. This is the widest part here at the front. And it's only five inches. Right, That's yes. Amazing. So, yeah. it, and as you can see, it's not that heavy. I can wheel it, and then simply, I can pop it under the couch, under the bed for storage. Um, then it's tucked out of the way. You could leave it set up, but I think people like to, you know, especially in a small space where you don't have the flexibility. My neighbor has a whole garage full of equipment, 
right, the expensive spin bike. She's got weights and everything. But what if you're in a dorm room? What if you're in a small apartment? RVs, I traveled around the country for eight months in an RV. <laughs> Darren sent me the products when I was in California and I had to transport them back to Florida. I had the treadmill behind the driver's seat. I did bust it out. <laughs> I have an awesome. outdoor plug. I was in New Mexico in the wind. I was, there was those spindly things flying past me, <laughs> but I had to get a workout because I'd been sitting on my bum for 12 hours driving. But, well, right? the fact you can put an RV, I mean, that's pretty darn yeah. remarkable when you think about it. And a lot of times, maybe in the past, you've tried, you love treadmills, like you love the concept, you know walking's so good for you, but it was, it was the bulk, the inconvenience, the darn thing takes up the entire room, and you end up throwing clothes on it. It's like a giant hanger, right? <laughs> With this, you have everything. They've taken the list of all the no's when it comes to a treadmill and made it a really wonderful positive yes. So this is a start. This is where you begin. And as you progress, Jan, I'm going to ask you this. Can you crank it up to 3.7, please? Because I think a lot of people also look at five inches and say, no way. It's not going to give me a really good workout. So I'm ch are you up to 3.7? Go on, Jan. Go on, You're there. Girl. You can do it. She's absolutely it, brilliant. Like you did better than I am, love. That, this look is at my that. job. And Come it's 264-pound <laughs> weight capacity. So this is a really serious treadmill. It, it, it doesn't have and take up all the space, but you really get that workout. That's what everybody wants is to get that effective workout by being able to walk, maybe doing a slight jog, and it goes up to almost four miles per hour, which is really cooking along. I mean, you are burning a whole lot of calories when you get there. I do want to give you guys two updates. Number one, I have less than 800 of the treadmills remaining in stock, and then it's completely sold out. If you're getting the two-in-one recumbent slash bike that we had earlier, I'm down to the final 600. So if you watched earlier in the hour and you saw us showing the uh, bike, we're really, really limited now in that. And we're only $10 more than when we launched it about a month ago or had it as our today's special. So for 10 more bucks, there's your bike. A ton of you bought it tonight. I have about 600 now remaining before that's also sold out. And I love it because I am really safe space starved. Yes. The real estate, I live in under 700 square feet. Good last. Well I cannot done. have <laughs> a, any big piece of equipment at all. Right. Both the bike and the treadmill would work in that environment. Right. Because they collapse up. The bike itself is about the size of a vacuum cleaner. This, as you saw back there, if you looked hard, you'd notice it. But a lot of you didn't even know we had it stored there against the wall. It can actually be stored leaning, even yeah. tighter. Yeah. I was being untidy. You Sorry. were being untidy. It yeah, actually can be, shove it. Hang on. It can literally be flat against the wall, and you barely know it's even there, and yet it's got this incredible performance and incredible weight capacity, which means it's got to be durable and well built. Perfect. You know, um, Annika, thank you. It can't <laughs> handle 264 pounds right. unless it's really a sturdy unit. Yes. And, right, so what I wanted to show again, so I stepped on, I start with my remote, I go to the speed that I want. I like to do high intensity interval training. What is that? So that's when you get your heart rate up and then you lower it for a small period of time. So say for example, I go up again to 3.7 is a nice brisk walk. So I'm gonna press it, it's gonna catch up. I start to get my heart rate up, I start to move my body, I get a nice cardiovascular workout, right? Brilliant to prevent heart disease, diabetes, you really wanna get your heart and your lungs working. So I go kind of flat out for a minute, I start huffing and puffing, my nice curly hairstyle goes away and turns straight because I get sweaty. And then what I do... Now she's up to 3.7. Right, so 3.7, and you can see I'm going at a fair pace, That's right? That's a clip. That's You're a clip. Really I can along. use my arms so I can really get the blood flowing, get my heart rate going, get the joints lubricated. I'm using everything, every part of my body. Now, what I do then is take the speed down and I come into a semi-rest state. That's the high intensity interval followed by rest. So if I do one minute high, I do 30 seconds where I just bring my heart rate. I can hold on to the stabilizer bar, Suzanne. Drop my heart rate, slow my breathing. Then I crank, crank it, it back, back up. up again. And yeah. the benefits of this is that it, it's a type of training. It creates an effect called EPOC. You're burning calories 
throughout the whole day, even when you're done with your workout. So I really like to train that way. Mm -hmm. But again, you get your app, you get the Echelon app. Get on there, take a walk in England, take a walk in France, go down the coast. You know, we can all escape. I wish I could escape England. I went home for Christmas. It rained nine days out of 12, oh, right? No. Three days, the sky wasn't gray, so I ran out. But that's why I like great equipment, great equipment that allows you to have flexibility sure. with the way you stay healthy. Right. You can use your treadmill, it's ultra thin. I can use it in front of the desk, take the stabilizer bar off, it slides right underneath. But then you don't have to be outside when it's cold. You're, you know, you don't have to drive to a gym. You don't have to spend a fortune on a gym membership that you probably won't use after the first month, right? Right, yeah. So we all get kind of super motivated and then we kind of get bored and it kind of drops off. But life is about small, taking small steps. If you build healthy habits. So again, five minutes a day, if you could start there for me. I really want to check in with people next month mm -hmm. after this airing to see if you bought the, the, the treadmill, got started on a routine. And after one month, if you can just do five minutes a day, it adds up, it gets you into that habit of waking up, getting out of bed, stepping on, uh, on, a, on a piece of equipment that's easy, folds away, get it out of the way. Nobody's gonna moan and groan at you because it's taking up loads of space. Right. Right, and uh, guys, I want to let you know too. We have VIP financing on it too, which I didn't mention earlier, and I apologize. If you have your HSN card, Q card, or Zulily card, in this case, you're going to get 12 months to pay this off. It's about $33.33 per month to get it at home. The one thing you have to remember, though, is unfortunately, and I'm really sorry, I don't have a lot of bikes left, and I don't have a lot of these left. I have maybe 500. This is 50% off tonight. It is the lowest price we've ever offered for really an incredible treadmill. And I truly hope you'll invest in yourself tonight. As you said earlier, you know, we do and give to everybody. It's the church, synagogue, kids, grandkids, new babies, kids going to you know high school, kids going to college. We just give and give and give. And a lot of times we feel guilty spending the money on ourselves. This is money well spent. And if you're using it and maybe you have other people in your family, then they get motivated to use it as well. You could change your entire life and your family's life simply by investing in that. And there's very, a pair of jeans isn't going to change my husband's life, right? <laughs> but if I have a treadmill in my home like this, and for me, who's space starved, the fact it can fit up against a wall and no one even sees it, that is worth investing in because you've all you've got and you want to live the healthiest, happiest life that you can. It's so important. All right, I've got to say goodbye to you. It was so good seeing Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go rest now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice good workout today. Good, thanks. All thanks. right, guys, so stay right there. I do want to give you a quick reminder of the bike. This is so unique and it's final quantities on that as well. We started out with over 5,200, I think.